Okay, this video has two purposes. First, it's the test of my new camera. Um, it's not very expensive. It's an NS DV720PBL2. It's made by uh, Insignia. I forgot it for a bit. So you'll be able to judge footage quality and everything else. Second is to introduce my Variax. Now this is my first one and it was given to me and it already had some damage. Some uh, wires that had been spliced. And then I dramatically damaged it further with a motor burnout video and I uh, yeah, I had the Variax sort of behind me and I was reaching behind myself to turn the knob and yeah she got hot. I didn't notice and I didn't shut it down. It does still work. Uh, you'll notice that we have stretched stretched some copper. It's rough. As far as I can tell, all of these are just shorted together so it jumps a bit. It's bad. It makes me sad a little. And I wanted to make sure that the damage didn't continue. And I found this. Now this is a power stat. And it's a type S1028, 18 amps. So uh, I think I figured this one out to be something like three. So we got 18 amps here. It's quite old. I'm thinking 50s, early 50s. Anyways, I got it off eBay, and the poor fella had not only uh, an incorrect spelling on his listing, and bad pictures but he also didn't know what it was so that's the trifecta of eBay no-no so I ended up getting it for a grand total and I do feel a little bad about this with shipping $70 $70 which is basically about a third of what it's worth but I guess sometimes you gotta win one for the good guys it's nice, heavy wound. Still have what appears to be asbestos copper or asbestos wire underneath there. That should be fine. She rotates smooth, nice and silky. I don't care that all the terminals are exposed and uh, something could bump up against them, but I'll work up some sort of guard. First, we need to, we need to initiate it, initiate it, and uh, let's burn some stuff up. Hoorah! It clearly seems happier. Ten volt. Huh. Well, that was something. 